Hello, everybody. Welcome to a call with Dr. Cook. My name is George Wright, and uh, Dr. Cook, welcome. It's good to see you. Good to see you, George. Happy day, everyone. Yeah, we have the shortest month of the year, the month of love. It's February. And uh, anyway, we're, we've got a fun topic today. We've got some great questions and a great topic today. And I look forward to these calls, Dr. Cook. I, uh, I, it's fun to hear a little bit about your experiences. Hey, they're always fun for me. <laughs> I must be getting old. <laughs> Not at all. Not in fact, <clears throat> I, I, I don't believe that for a second because I know for a fact um, a couple of weeks ago, I spent a little bit of time with you uh, in Europe, and uh, uh, boy, you keep a pretty tough schedule, Doctor Cook. You're you're you got go go juice. That, well, that's because you drive me so hard, George. Holy smokes! <laughs> <laughs> it was a great trip. A lot of fun. A lot of great people. I love Europe. You know, it's um, it's fun as we were there. Um, and again, our our topic today is quality of life discussion. And uh, as we were there in Europe, it seemed like this was a, a topic that came up over and over again, Dr. Cook, is on quality of life and what it is and what it means and how limbic arc can impact that. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm looking forward. I noticed um, a, a little while ago there was a uh, article that was published. It was actually, um, it was an 85 year study done by Harvard and it talks about life and happiness and what makes us happy and what makes us live longer. It was pretty interesting as we were talking uh, about quality of life conversations, yeah. how, how relevant limbic arc is to all of those things. Well, and I think it talked about relationship as the most important thing, isn't it? Yeah, it did. It was, it was fascinating. In fact, it says um, that the conclusion of the article, um, it says, contrary to what you might think, it's not career achievement, money, exercise, or a healthy diet. The most consistent finding we've learned through an 85-year study is positive relationships keep us happier, healthier, and help us live longer, period. Yeah. So, I, um, yeah. Well, then we could talk a long time about that. It's, 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 a, uh, it's, a, it's a circle, you know? I mean, that's why CERT is so powerful, I think, is it yeah. improves uh, relationships because it erases or expands our perceptions and allows us to see people as they are as opposed to how we are. And Often, Oftentimes, Dr. Cook, I've heard people talk to you, and I, and, <laughs> and, and I know you're very quick to point out that this doesn't diagnose, treat, or cure. You know, this, is, this is something that helps, you always say, improve the quality of your life. And, yeah. and sometimes that's hard for people to understand because, you know, if their hip hurts or their back hurts, you know, or if, you know, they, they, we get to look sometimes so closely at the issue at hand that sometimes we look, we miss track of the bigger picture. Well, and, and we're not smart enough to know all the sources of the problem. We can just, all we see is the outward symptom and, uh, you know, so whatever the immediate stress point is, that's what I want relief from. Right. Uh, quality of life really deals with what are the underlying contributors to the, you know, the power to the uh, stress point. Right. And, and sometimes that's subtle and it takes longer. And I think that's why talking about quality of life is uh, so relevant is we, we really need to think uh, as limbic arc users we need to think about quality of life. We need to focus on quality of life. All of the stress points that get relieved, like the pain points or the bad sleep or the um, whatever else it might be. A relationship. Yeah. yeah, those are all awesome. But what's the most awesome is we know that we're actually building ourselves on a more solid foundation because the underlying quality of life issues are being addressed from a from a more than just a conscious perspective yeah well and and my mind goes to uh, you know how many people there are in the world that could improve the quality of their life you know it's there and it's accessible and it's something that they could do if they just only knew how 
And I think that that's the real opportunity for Limbic Arc, quite frankly, is, is we're looking at uh, life in, in, a, in a holistic perspective, not just taking a very sharp myopic focus. And, right. But. Hey, let me, uh, George, I'm going to share some pictures with you. Can I do that? Okay. Okay. These are uh, some that were taken from, um, let's see, there we go. Now I can do it. From our trip. I know that we went to a few trip, places yeah. there in Europe. Um, and we the first place we went was Milan, Italy. Okay. And uh, what a beautiful city for sure. Yeah, that is, that is a beautiful city. Yeah. And we had uh, the opportunity to <clears throat> walk around the city uh, one morning before we caught a, a, a speed trade down to Florence. But uh, one of the architectural beauties there in Milan is this building. It's called the Duomo which is a means cathedral. Which the, is absolutely <clears throat> gorgeous. Look at the blue sky. And I, I that picture doesn't do the architecture justice. It is. Oh, let me give you another. Let me give you another perspective here. Okay. So wow. there's, a, there's another perspective. Uh, it took 600 years to build this building. These are some of the things we've learned. And I'm not sharing this information with George because he was there listening to it too. But um, <laughs> That you can see on the very top up there, there's a gold statue. That's a statue of the Virgin Mary. Uh, this building did not get bombed during World War II. Wow. Uh, it, it did get a little damaged to some of the windows, but it didn't get bombed. They covered, they told us that they covered that statue so that it would not become a just a natural beacon to attract bombs, essentially. I mean, you can imagine you're a pilot of a, a bomber and you're flying over enemy, enemy territory and they're shooting at you. You want to drop your bombs and get home as fast as you can. And they may have said, look, whatever you do, don't bomb the Duomo. We don't want to destroy that building. But if you're a scared kid flying an airplane and you're worried that one of those bullets coming at you is going to hit one of your bombs and blow the plane up, you're just going to drop them anywhere you can. And if you've got this gold statue it's like oh that's a natural let's just hit that one on the way out so you know in their wisdom they covered that and this building did not get damaged but thank uh, goodness because it is yeah. certainly a treasure for it really isn't here, here's the the scale of it is amazing i mean here's the on the left that's an inside shot just one of to give you kind of a sense of the the vastness of this thing they call those uh, marble pillars the marble forest. I think there's 52 of those inside, one for every week of the year. And then on the right, this is a cast bronze door. And uh, those those panels are each cast, and then the door is assembled. And it's, I can't imagine how heavy that thing is, but it's beautiful. Yeah. That's outside. And then we, we, we got the opportunity to walk up to the ceiling, not, not the ceiling of the roof. We were actually on top of the building. The roof is also made out of granite blocks. I, mean, I can't <laughs> imagine how much this thing weighs. It's just, uh, it's uh, amazing. Well, it was, <laughs> what blew me away is there were literally hundreds of people walking on the roof of this building. It was yeah, yeah. just as solid as could be. A great day in Milan. You can see the air quality was uh, wonderful. There's the Alps in the far distance and the the uh, sky was blue. It was still winter, but it was fun. Yeah. Here's another shot. Just oh, there it is. That statue again. There's Those the pillars. Rivers. Yeah. Um, and there again, they're all made out of marble, so it's just crazy. And then you look over the edge; it's a little bit scary, but kind of fun. Yeah. And there we go. We're down to quality of life. Now, let me uh, let me back up one before we get to that last slide. No, I'm going to go to the quality of life. Okay. Um, in in our travels, uh, and I'm, I'm, again, George, I'm not saying this to you. I'm bringing everybody on the trip with us. Uh, we met lots of great people, and we heard lots of great stories about Limbic Arc. And uh, in one that comes to mind is uh, we met one of our Limbic Arc family in the lobby of a hotel. This was in Budapest. Uh, we went to Italy and to Hungary as well. So we were in Budapest, and and uh, she was there with her mother. And she was in, she was bilingual. She 
and maybe more, but she was speaking uh, English to us. Her mother only spoke Hungarian. But um, after her, her mother left, we met them both, and then her mother left, and then we spent a little bit more time with, with uh, our friend who spoke English. And she said, oh, yeah, my mother and I have had a very strained relationship until I started using CERT. And since then, well, we get along well. And I thought, holy moly, that is, that's amazing. Now, so we go back to that study you did, um, George, and if relationships... The Harvard study. Yeah, the Harvard study you mentioned. And if relationships are really the foundational linchpin in health and longevity, uh, then the quality of life for these two women has been enhanced because of their experience with CERT and whatever that did in the, to their relationship to make it better. Did we add years to the lives of those women? I would assume that it's reasonable to say yes. Well, and, I was privy to that conversation, Dr. Cook, and the thing yeah. that really caught my mind was she said, because of CERT, once she, once CERT was released and she started to use that, her relationship dramatically changed with her mother. It was it was amazing to hear. Yeah. Now we have used I've used other voice technology that we've developed over the years, so I'm not new to voice technology, and I will tell you that that is not an uncommon story. Mm -hmm. uh, that when you do perception reframing, relationships improve. But it was still gratifying to, to, to hear her, you know, we didn't, we had no idea they didn't have a good relationship. They were very friendly when they were there in the lobby with us. Right. And uh, she just volunteered that after her mother left. And, uh, and that's just one story. We, you know, there are lots of stories. And when you think of those in terms of quality of life, not in terms of the symptom, you know, the stress point that's irritating me now right in this moment but you think of the overall quality of life is your mental uh, wellness better yeah. how's your spirituality you know do you feel more gratitude and love uh, what is your social interaction is your you know do you have more friends or do the friends you have uh, are they better friends and are you a better friend yeah. uh, do you have more money or are you spending your money more wisely or are you spending less time worrying about money? Those are all financial issues. And f what's your physical? Of course, we we focus a lot on the physical, right? Uh, because that is the manifestation of the stress point uh, quite often in our lives. So, so let me ask it in a different way, Doctor Cook. If I have a social relationship, say with my mother or with a friend or something, that's that's really not a good relationship, can that impact my physical wellness? Well, it sure does. Yeah. I mean, think about it. If you, uh, have you ever been mad with anybody? And when you think about that person that you are mad at, what happens to your physiology? Oh, it elevates my, my blood pressure. I can feel it. You know, my yeah. breathing increases. There, there are a lot of physical responses that happen to that emotion, to that feeling. And, and when you, um, well, that, I was going to go on, but I don't think we need to talk about that anymore, but you lose out on the, um, the richness of the relationship. Yeah. The, you know, our friend in, in Budapest and her mother uh, both had value to each other that they would have foregone had they had a strained relationship and avoided each other. Right. So there's that side of it. It's like the opportunity cost of a poor relationship is the, is that. Um, and it doesn't mean you have to be friends with everybody and it doesn't mean you have to hang out with everybody. Those things are not practical, but you don't want to be upset and you certainly don't want to be chronically upset with anybody. Well, and, and knowing that um, if having a, a difficult relationship causes negative impacts in our physical wellness, having a positive relationship 
like this Harvard study, it says it helps you literally live longer. So right. that, that wellness improves your physical longevity for sure. Hey, George, you want to turn your camera on? You know, we're talking together. I can't see your smiling face. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there Sorry. he is. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought it was yeah. just a ghost in a closet there. Yeah. Well, uh, it's... It's, it's amazing how all of these uh, come together. And limbic arc is an important part of bringing that. Limbic arc doesn't focus in on one aspect here. Um, to your point, limbic arc is a quality of life tool. And that's really the only claim we make about limbic arc is that it is designed to improve the quality of your life. All right. The intent of the design of this product is to improve the quality of your life. We don't guarantee you that you're going to make more money. We don't guarantee you that all your aches and pains are going to go away. We're not going to guarantee that we're not going to claim that this is going to diagnose anything. Right. That's not the way this equipment has been designed. It's designed to improve the quality of your life. Right. And so look to these things to validate whether that design is efficacious or has effect in your life. Right. And, um, uh, you know, I have it, a feeling that we'll talk a lot more about quality of life um, as as we go in, in the coming days and years, Dr. Cook. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the ultimate measurement. Yeah, it, it is the ultimate measurement, and it's difficult to well, it's, it's difficult to pinpoint down. Right. Because we, we live in a world where we think this for that, this for that. Oh, I've got a headache. We'll take an aspirin. Okay. Oh, I can't sleep. We'll then take a sleeping pill. And I want it now, instantly, right? Well, and, and if it doesn't happen immediately, like I expect it, then I figure it doesn't work. You know, right. if I take the sleeping pill and I don't go to sleep, I say, well, that didn't work. Uh, the, the problem with limbic arc is, uh, yes, you can address things like pain. It, that is a quality of life issue. But there may be lots of reasons why your stress point is that pain. And it could be genetic. It could be you have some kind of trauma or damage in that area. And so it becomes the weak link in your chain, essentially. Uh, there's just lots of reasons. And so the solution might not be, let's address the pain. So you wake up in the morning and it's all gone. It's let's address the underlying cause or let's help you become aware of the underlying cause. And, and, and so you become aware, unknowing that it's the limbic arc information that's actually helping you become aware. You become aware of the problem and you correct your lifestyle and all of a sudden your pain goes away. Right. And you think, well, apparently limbic arc didn't have anything to do with getting rid of my pain because, you know, I figured that out myself. I did it on my own, huh? Yeah, and, and, and it's difficult to... You can't prove what didn't work. Uh, George, as you know, uh, several years ago, I got cancer. And uh, I had a three and a half year journey with cancer. And um, and at the end of the day, I didn't die. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> well, good. I, and, I, and, but, I, you know, but I did lots of things. In that three and a half years, you know, I did everything I could do to deal with the cancer holistically and traditional Western, you know, chemotherapy. I didn't do radiation, but I did everything else. Right. And looking back, you'd say, well, what worked? And my answer would have to be, I guess everything. Right. And was there one, one thing that made the difference? I think everything made the difference. And uh, so it's hard to prove what improved my lifestyle through that journey. But, uh, and that is one of the challenges we have with limbic arc is because it does impact such a, there's the potential for impact is so broad that you have to kind of look at the entire landscape of your life and say, okay, since I've been using limbic arc, is my life better? Yeah. And, well, uh, one of the great parts of this, I, I know specifically, and, and we'll talk about this, I think we've got a question here in a minute that talks about um, some of the emotional tools that Limbic Arc uses. There, there are some wonderful tools inside Limbic Arc that are easy to use 
that make it easier to address quality of life issues with uh, emotions and wellness and other things like that. And so that's the beauty of this is there's this broad quality of life that we're trying to address, but but addressing it is as simple as, as using some info boost with limbic arc. This is now accessible to everybody using this tool that you've created. Yeah, will Olympic Arc solve all the world's problems? No, but it'll help them. Well, look if 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 the goal if the goal is to improve quality of life, um, that's that's your world. You know, it does improve your world, which is which yeah. is great. And yeah. if enough people do that, yeah, the world changes. So. Okay, this is my last slide, George. Should okay. we should we entertain some questions? I think so. I think it'd be great. Um, let me I, uh, stop sharing and we'll let Scott turn on the questions here. I know we've got a few questions and we always do. And, and we appreciate that. I, this having a conversation like this, I think is very helpful to, to give people insights into, into you and into what's happening with, uh, with us and with Limbic Arc. So Heck yes. And it gives them a chance to go to Milan with us for a minute. <laughs> we, that was what a great you know there are people all over the world that deal with so many different quality of life um topics and it's amazing that regardless of where you go this is relevant so hey and george i gotta tell everybody my favorite new saying okay great uh, it is fabrique del duomo <laughs> now we learned that uh, from uh ludmilla who is our translator and tour guide there in milan um the the Duomo took 600 years to build. Yes. And uh, Fabrique del Duomo is an idiom, and it means don't take 600 years to get the job done. <laughs> so, so hurry up and get the job done. That's what it means. Hurry so up. It's never finished as fast as we would like, is it? Because right. we want it. We want it now. Yep. Fabrique del Duomo. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, and we... There are so many good friends there and so many good people that we met. It was, uh, we just give a shout out to, to them, the Limbic Arc community, and um, we appreciate that. Um, Dr. Cook, I know that um, we're introducing a, a bunch of new ingredients into our library. And uh, you can see there's a, a group of uh, wonderful ingredients. Keep in mind, this happens all the time. We'll introduce uh, new ingredients all the time. What that means is your library gets stronger and better and more valuable every time. It's better today than it was last month and the month before. Yep. And um, any of these items, if you do a Google search on them, it's it's amazing the benefits, the wellness benefits that traditionally people have associated with these uh, ingredients. And so they're wonderful additions to the library and we hope that that's valuable, these 14 new ingredients. Um, so let's, uh, okay, let's jump into a question. Okay. Um, speaking of the library specifically, why aren't, why don't we include frequencies, vibrations, tones, or stones in the limbic arc library? First part of that question, George, is limbic arc is not a frequency generator. Okay. Uh, and so we are careful not to imply that it is. Uh, a common question we get is, do I have to have my phone with me when I have an active info boost? And the answer is no, you don't have to because your phone just gives you access to the date to the uh, the database in the cloud. Right. Once you've turned on that that uh, info boost in your account, it's automatically sent to you because we're not generating a frequency that has to get to you. It's not like you're listening to some music with some signal embedded in it. That's not the right. way it works. So, so we don't put frequencies in because we don't want to imply that this is a frequency generator. Uh, with respect to stones, uh, I'm, you know, that would be stones, minerals, uh, crystals. gems, crystals. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have shungite in yeah. and, uh, and we do have minerals in, which would be stones. Yeah. Um, we will continue to add more of those as time passes. So there's okay. a ton more that we could put in, no pun intended, but uh, you know, there's <laughs> lots of stones that we could put in and, and uh, just like there's lots of other things. So hang on to the, fu the future because we'll see more and more. 
it's good to be accurate here because it isn't a frequency generator. This is informational. It's it's right. so that's a that's a very clear distinction. Thank you for that. Let's move on. Um, next question. Um, oh, this would be a great one. Uh, do people in my friends and family program have the same version of the web app that I have? That's a that's a hard one. The answer is yes. <laughs> very simple, isn't it? It's exactly the same tool. So when you have friends and family, they're getting exactly the same tool that you have. Yeah, if you have cert, they get cert. If you have pet, they get pet. Well, that's so a, it. It makes great. sense if you're going to be using friends and family to have the whole package because it just automatically goes to everybody else. Yeah, it's not like a light version of it. It is the full on what you have. And so, yeah, if you've added pet in and that's part of your subscription, um, in fact, a lot of people will add pet to their subscription just because they have friends and family that utilize pet. And it's a real yeah. value to the people um, that, that you have in your friends and family program. Great. OK, let's move on to the next question. Um, OK, and I alluded to this earlier in our conversation, Dr. Cook. Um, this person says, I've been using the CERT program and for several months, my priority zones have remained the same. Um, and I think you'd almost have to be familiar with CERT to understand this question, but um, you, based on the voice scan, um, these are things that continue to come up. Um, what does it mean and what should I do? Uh, this is not uncommon. Uh, I won't, I, we don't have enough time to give a full explanation. I think we've got some uh, calls that we've archived that talk more in detail about CERT, but um, I will tell you that the that zone one for me is one of these. It shows up uh, regularly on my voice scans when I'm doing a spark, uh, irrespective of the uh, topic. Now, it, it doesn't happen all the time. I'm just saying that's the one that shows up more often right. than any of the others. Uh, I suspect the reason is, 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 here's some possibilities. First of all, it may be that mechanically, I just, have some kind of thing going on in my vocal mechanism that generates the tones or leaves out the tones that show up in that voice energy pattern. And so zone one just happens because of mechanical reasons. The other is that I, I may have, now zone one is uh, uh, affirmed, <laughs> unacknowledged, there we go. Okay, I, it's possible that I have some underlying hidden, because I'm not aware of what it would be, but some underlying issue with acknowledgement. It may be that I think acknowledgement is more important than it is, and so it shows up regularly. It may be that I have some uh, misunderstood concept at a subconscious level around acknowledgement that uh, is continuing to show up in different areas. So it could be one of those things, but it's not anything that I lay awake nights worrying about. Um, when it shows up, I just go, oh, there that is again. And I I know that I can shift it by using the CERT program. Right. And so I don't worry about it. And uh, so there's, there's reason, I guess what I'm saying is there are reasons it happens. I think there are lots of reasons. And so it's hard to say, well, it's always this reason. I think it could be for me one thing and for somebody else, it might be something else. Well, and, and I don't think that CERT is a destination. I think it's a journey and you're going yeah. to have recurring themes as you go on your journey. And so I, I think that I, I know for myself, I find things that come up again and again. And I feel like that that's just part of uh, my, my journey in life. Yeah. Thank goodness, I've got a tool to help me with that. Yeah, no, it is. It is. Great. Okay. Um, have we got, uh, we'll maybe make this our last question, Dr. Cook, okay. I'm going to be short here, but, um, um, I love the pet info boost product. Should I be doing continuous pet info boosts or only run one when there are specific issues? Well, you have to listen to your inner puppy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> remember this is a tool designed to improve the quality of your life and the quality of life of your pets. 
Right. It's not just for the acute whatever's showing up in the moment. And if nothing's showing up, then you can shelve it and put it away. I would run uh, pretty much the pet info boost uh, program the same way I run it for myself. Now, I'm not a pet owner. I don't have a pet. And so I'm not emotionally attached to a pet. But uh, George, you are and you have a dog. And, you know, that dog is part of your family. Absolutely. So, so uh, your quality of life, it, as we all know, is going to impact that dog's quality of life because, because he's, is, is it a he or a she? It's a, it's a girl. It's a girl. Okay. So she's attached to you emotionally, just like you are to her. And that's one of the advantages of having a pet is that it, it's that emotional attachment is very healthy. I would say it also goes the other way because so exactly. And that's where I was coming to is it goes the other way. If, if your puppy is having some kind of underlying, but not on the surface issues and they can do that just like humans can. Oh, you bet. Then that's going to, that's going to impact your quality of life. And so and I've got one more hit. problem that I have to deal with, but when, when she is very balanced and happy, she, she, adds so much value to the life of myself and my family, quite frankly. Exactly. Yeah. She adds, she adds balance to you and your life and your family's life. Yeah. So, so again, I would look at the pet product and, and how do I deal with pets? I'd look at that pretty much. How do I deal with myself? And I'd do the same thing. Well, Dr. Cook, thank you. I appreciate it. Our time is gone. It goes so fast. Um, I just like to remind everybody as we uh, follow up that uh, if you'd like to listen to this call, go ahead. We'll, we'll, it'll be posted to our YouTube channel um, on our website. You can find links to that and th all this one and all others. There, there are lots of other calls that you can listen into, and and I know that there have been a lot of topics that we've discussed during the last. Um, I, it's been a couple of years now, Doctor Cook, but. Uh, also, remind everybody, Wednesday, March 29th is going to be our next scheduled call. Put that on your calendar, 10 o'clock Mountain Time. And um, in the meantime, if you have questions about Limbic Arc, if you need a little bit of help setting up an info boost, we've got a great customer success team that you can reach out to, and uh, they'll be happy to help you. So, again, from all of us here at Limbic Arc, thank you for joining. Thanks for attending. We look forward uh, to, to seeing you next month on a call with Dr. Cook. And Dr. Cook, as always, thank you so much. Hey, thank you. And thanks, everyone. We love you and we'll see you soon. Yeah.